What's up guys, this is Biggs, the Mortal Kombat 9 Discord admin, and this is a tutorial on how to download and install the Mortal Kombat 9 Trilogy Edition mod for PC. So the first thing you're going to do is open up Steam, and in Steam you're going to go to your library, and then find Mortal Kombat Complete Edition and right click it. After right clicking it, you're going to go to all the way down to Properties. Then in Properties window, you're going to browse over to Local Files, and then you're going to click Browse Local Files, and uh, Windows Explorer uh, window should pop up. And in the Explorer window, you're going to click the folder Disk Content PC. And this folder Disk Content PC is basically where all your MK9 game files are. All the files that control the game are stored here. So normally when you install the Trilogy Edition mod, you would just download the mod and literally just extract the folders into the disk content PC. You would extract the asset folder and the localization folder, and then you would have to go in the asset folder and delete the startup meta file. But we're going to install TE in a new way using the program called MK9 Selector. An MK9 selector is the newest creation by Aaron PC. It's basically a program that lets you install TE and then choose between running vanilla MK9 and TE at the click of a button. So we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to open up the Discord for Mortal Kombat 9. And in the chat, I'm going to type, in the frame data chat, I'm going to type exclamation point selector. And this should bring up the selector command from the frame data bot. And in this selector bot, you're going to have two links, one for the launcher and one for the data. You're going to want to download both those. The launcher is the actual program, and the data is basically the Trilogy Edition mod. So after you download these two files, they're going to basically be zipped 7-zip files. And I have them right here, MK9 selector and and selector data. So what you're going to do, you need to have 7-zip obviously, so you're going to open them with 7-zip, open archive, and you're going to extract them to that disk content PC folder. So I'm going to extract, and you'll have to find the file path, but I trust you guys can do that. So I'm going to extract this right here. It's going to take a while, because it's the, basically the whole Trilogy Edition mod. So I'll cut it when it stops extracting. All right, so it looks like the MK9 selector data zip file is done. So now we're going to uh, extract the MK9 selector files to the uh, disk content PC folder again. And th this one should be pretty fast. It's already done. So now we're going to look at the disk content PC folder. And you'll see it added some new files. It added this asset TE and localization TE. So these two folders are basically all the TE files for the Trilogy Edition mod. So this is what basically allows you to have the regular vanilla MK9 game installed. It will be in installed in the asset and localization folders. And then the TE game will be installed in asset T and localization T. And also in your disk content PC folder, you'll see this new executable called MK9 selector. So what we're going to do here is we're going to right click MK9 selector and we're going to make a shortcut of it. So we're going to create shortcut. And we're going to move that shortcut onto our desktop right here. And we can click out of the uh, disk content PC folder. It's not needed anymore. So now we're going to run the MK9 selector shortcut. And this window should pop up. You'll see it has two options, MK9 and Trilogy Edition. So if we click the MK9 one, it should launch the game with regular MK9. So Mortal Kombat Complete Edition, and we'll just wait to see if it's vanilla MK9 when the game comes up. Okay, so the game launched, and it'll skip through everything. So it already looks like it's vanilla, but we'll wait till the start screen to tell. 
So see right here, it says Mortal Kombat Complete Edition. So that's how we know the game worked. So I'm going to X out of the game, and we're going to do the selector with TE now. So we're going to click MK9 Selector again, and then now we're going to choose TE. So it should launch TE now. Okay, so the game launched, and let's see if it's TE. So yeah, it already the TE uh, thanks screen comes up, but we'll just go to the regular uh, start menu, and we should see Trilogy Edition. There we go, right there. So that's it. Using MK9 Selector by uh, Aaron PC, you can basically have two versions of MK9 installed, and you could switch back and forth from each other.